first video, we showed how you can easily set up IBM Data Server Manager. We also provided an overview of some base product features. In this video, we will describe some of the base product features in more detail. Let's begin with database monitoring. The home page provides an at-a-glance health view of all the databases that are monitored by your system. First, let's add some database connections for the databases to monitor. You can manually add a database connection. Import database connections that have been exported from other Infosphere Optim database tools. Or discover databases on a database server. In this example, let's discover the databases on the DB2 instance. Specify the information and credentials for the DB2 server, and then click the Find Instances button. The wizard discovers and shows DB2 paths and instances of the discovered databases for you to select from. Choose a path and an instance and click Next. Then select the discovered databases that you want to add as database connections. Next, specify the credentials for each of the database connections. In this example, we use the same user ID and password that we specified for the instance. Click Finish. Database connections are created for the selected databases and they are automatically set up for monitoring and are displayed as tiles on the home page. You can display your databases in different ways, such as by connection name, DB2 version, instance, user ID, or your own custom grouping. You can customize the metrics that are shown on the database tiles. By default, databases with active alerts are displayed at the top of the page. You can change which database metrics the tiles are sorted by. The tile status icon, which is either green, yellow, or red, indicates the overall health status of each database. The number of existing alerts, if any, is also displayed. Click the icon to drill down to get more information about the alerts and recommended actions. You can tag a database to move it to the favorite group at the top. This is useful to quickly locate databases that you frequently monitor or are most interested in. From the home page, you can take several actions on a database. Let's monitor a database. The single database view provides an at-the-glance overview of how active the data server is. The overview view provides database time breakdown by SQL execution, input output, block weight, and others. When the value of a metric is outside the normal range, it is flagged as an outlier. The overview also provides other key metrics such as total CPU, database CPU, average response time, total throughput, and number of active connections. You can view recent historical graphs for these metrics with values available for a recent period. Other views for monitoring a database are also available. For example, the statements view provides information about SQL statements and stored procedures that are currently running or have recently run on a database. From this view, you can see the details, view a visual explain, force an application, or cancel the database activities. The locking view provides information about locking problems, such as lock timeouts, lock waits, and deadlocks. The blocking and waiting connections view is most useful if you need to locate applications that are stuck waiting on a lock. You can quickly find the locking participants along with the graphical presentation of the locking chains. You can either cancel or force the blocking connection for immediate relief. You can also drill down to see details of the locking participants, which can help you implement a permanent solution. You can also look at lock type, 
locked objects, and SQL statements to pinpoint the exact cause of the problem. You can also find if there are any locks on any particular database tables or all tables in a schema. This search capability is useful for cases in which some applications suddenly hang or their performance degrades, and you need to quickly find whether the cause is related to locking. In this second IBM Data Server Manager video, we have walked through some basic product features. These included auto-discovery of databases, at a glance health view of all the databases, and single database monitoring with statements and locking views. In the next video, we will enable the product for the advanced features that are available in the Enterprise Edition by adding a repository database.